Hey. Are you well? I mean, really well. As a yoga practitioner, practicing yoga has helped to calm and centre my mind. But sometimes, that just isn't enough. My teaching journey started when I was 22. As Singapore's first Acro Vinyasa certified instructor, my training background has given me a thorough understanding of body movement and mental awareness. Seven years in, my biggest motivation has always been to bring joy and a sense of community through my practice. But being a solopreneur is a lonely and chaotic journey. The burnout is real, even more so during a time like this. To inspire others, I realised that I must first inspire myself. So, I've been exploring to take my wellness journey beyond these walls. Forest bathing is a Japanese practice known as Shinrin Yoko. It's a gentle sensorial journey in nature that allows me to slow down tear away from my busy wall and look inward. The rich biological diversity of urbanised Singapore's tropical habitats is unlike any other. A first in Singapore ecological park that is home to various natural habitats. The park is designed with minimal man-made intrusion. No lights, no man-made pavements. In fact, most of the infrastructure is made out of natural materials. Take in the surroundings using your senses. What can you smell? How does the forest surroundings make you feel? Feel the textures. What are the soothing colours of nature you see? Being there in this park enhances the experience in the most authentic way. There's something tranquil about being somewhere that takes me away from the now and brings me to another time. Tea Chapter is the largest and oldest Chinese tea house in Singapore. The process of brewing tea allows me to retreat into a moment of peace and recollect my composure. Located within the Chinatown Historic District, it's now surrounded by modern bars and restaurants. From learning about the types of tea leaves and the right tools to use, the ancient art of tea appreciation can do a lot for your body and mind holistically. The first brew is not drunk but poured away, and is meant to wake the tea leaves and allow the flavour to unroll. The next brew is for drinking in three mouthfuls. The first, to cleanse the palate. The second, to taste. And the third, to enjoy its aftertaste. It's been well established that the flavonoids in tea fit in perfectly with a heart healthy lifestyle. But learning the art of tea making has enlightened me to savour and live in the moment. For soulful care, I find myself drawn to places that help me reconcile with my own feelings and emotions while still being the heart of the city action. This infrared sauna therapy, located right smack in Singapore's CBD, puts the tech in wellness. Beyond relaxation, it helps with pain relief and recovery by relaxing the body's muscles. It also stimulates the release of endorphins and even cleanses the skin by rinsing bacteria out of the surface layer and sweat ducts. The private rooms are also fitted with chromotherapy lights, which uses colours and the vibrations to balance the body's energy. A session of this leaves me completely refreshed and renewed. Wellness is a continuous process of making choices towards a life that thrives. It is a way of life that supports not just my journey as a yoga educator, but also grounds me as an individual. After all, one can pour from an empty cup. So like my head stands, I'm constantly growing and surrendering to strive for balance in all aspects of my life.